Hello, I'm back with a new tutorial for Webflow. Let's see what this animation is all about. As you can see that the images are being placed where mouse is moving. This animation is not as easy as you might think. We deal with a lot of stuffs happen behind the scenes. First, we must get the mouse position and place the images accordingly. We need to update the mouse position every time mouse moves and place images there. The other thing is how we can animate the images when we move the mouse. Lastly, we must hide the elements if the mouse doesn't move for a while and keep the last image. Some of these animations can be created with GSAP library and some of them, you must be creative. I don't think I would be able to explain the whole animations but let's see what I can do to make the process easier for you to understand how this animation works. As I explained earlier, we basically want to place some images where the mouse was and where it's moving. So we need to add a few images. In overall, you need to place the images one left top side of the body if you want the mouse position works perfectly. I have added a few images and assigned them a class name. The more images you add here, the more smooth animation you would get. You can basically duplicate the images if you want or use some custom codes to do so. Here I moved forward with the first method. Let's see how the code works. We add a few libraries. We define a value which is tolerance. This value will define how much the system is sensitive to the mouse movements. The less value you use here, the more sensitive mouse would be. For example in this example I created, if you set a low value like 20, the system tries to place an image for every pixel mouse moves. But if you set a high value like what I used, system will skip a few pixels to find the next position to place the images. This line will create an array from the images we have. Probably you remember the images I have showed you a few minutes ago. The we use GSAP set to set the initial position of the images. We want they all be at the top and left of the screen. Then we define a z-index value to assign it to every image we have later. For now it's set to 0. In this line, we count the numbers of the images we have. As I told you, the higher number of images you have, the more smooth animation you get. Then we define the initial position of the cursor. It must be the same as the images, top and left. Then we use this lines to record the mouse position. We later want to assign the mouse position to the images. Then we have to update the GSAP ticker to make sure the animation runs smoothly. This animation is using the CPU a lot, so it might not be ideal to have a lot of elements. I have seen a few times that Chrome was not responding and had to close it. This line will update the function we defined to find how far the mouse get and update the position of the images. As I told you we have to record the mouse movements. So, we call that a tick here. We try to check with these lines if the mouse got far from its last position and store it. The lines are responsible for checking if the mouse has moved more than the tolerance we have defined earlier. If it has moved, then we need to update the values of last position. We later use GSAP set to assign the new position to the images. In our original example, each image appears when we move the mouse, has a higher z-index compared to the last one. With this line we make sure the next image appears, has a higher z-index. Then we use a GSAP timeline to define how the images disappears, how they appear and also assign the position to the images and update their z-index. One thing I need to mention, the images scale up on revealing, and scale down to zero on disappearing, the same changes being applied to their opacity.
Thanks for watching. You can grab the code or clone this template from my Patreon.